So now we're going to try a trick on you at home. So this is an interactive trick. I'm going to use my words to influence where you move. Begin by choosing any one of these cards and place your finger on it on the screen. I will now try to confuse you by adding more cards, but keep your finger on your card on the screen and make sure you don't take it off. Keep your finger on your card on the screen and now, each time, I'm going to ask you to move a certain number of cards. Now, keep your finger on your card at the moment, because I'll give you an example. For example, if you choose to move five cards, you can move from here to one, two, three, four, five, or you can move from here to one, two, three, four, five. You can move up, down, left or right, whichever way you like, as long as you don't move diagonally and I will give you numbers to choose from. So keep your finger on that first card, and now I'd like you to move one of these number of spaces. Either nine, five, one, three, or seven. So move one of those number of spaces now, up, down, left, or right, but anything but diagonally, and keep your finger on that new card. Fantastic. Now, using my magical intuition and my influencing, I think I have influenced you not to be on this card, this card, uh, or either of these cards actually. Keep your finger on your card again, I'm going to give you some new numbers and you can move any one of these number of spaces, up, down, left or right, anything but diagonally. You can move 5, 3, 7, 1, 9. So if you move that number of spaces now, up, down, left or right, anything but diagonally, and you'll have your finger on a new card. Fantastic. And using my influential words, I think I have influenced you not to be on this card, or this card, or these two. You have your finger on a card now, now I'm going to give you some new numbers. Uh, you can move any number, of, any of these number of spaces again, up, down, left or right, anything but diagonal. Your numbers to choose from are 4, 10, 8, 6 or 2. So if you move that number of spaces now, up, down, left or right, anything but diagonal, and end with your finger on a new card. Fantastic. I think I've influenced you not to be on this card, or this card or this card. Brilliant. Second last time now. Um, second last time. Keep your finger on the card you've got it on at the moment. I'm going to give you some new numbers. So you, now you can move 9, 1, 3, 5 or 7 spaces. If you do that now, that's great. I think I have now influenced you to not be on these two sixes. Also not on these, so we're narrowing it down. And I think each time I'm following exactly where you are, even though you're at home. The final time, I'm going to ask you to move a number of spaces, up, down, left or right, anything but diagonal. Keep your finger on the card at the moment. You can move 9, 1, 3, 5 or 7 spaces. If you do that now, up, down, left or right, anything but diagonal. And I think, using my magical powers of perception, that you are not on any of these cards, but your final card is the Four of Clubs. Here's a brief explanation of how that trick worked. Originally, I had only laid out this amount of cards. I then, once you'd chosen a card and placed your finger on it, added extra cards to confuse the situation. We'll call these original cards set A and we'll call these face down cards set B. Then each time I asked you to move, I only gave you either even numbers or odd number of spaces to move. Now let's notice what happens here. If we place a finger on a card in set A and we move an even number of spaces, for example 2, 1, 2, it takes us to another member of set A. The same if we choose 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, or 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 
you can see what happens is when we move an even number of spaces, we move to another card in the same set. If we move an odd number of spaces though, for example going from here, and we move 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, we've moved from set A to set B. We've changed sets. So basically, by giving you either only odd numbers or even numbers to choose from, I can know whether your finger is on a card that is in set A or in set B. And because I know which set your finger is in, I can get rid of the cards that are in the other set. And I can do this one by one, eliminating all the cards until there's only one card left that your finger can be on. Go to mathematicalmagic.com for more maths, magic and teaching resources.